It is two days to the March 26 National Convention of the ruling All Progressives Congress, the APC. Reports making the rounds say that the governors of the ruling party have declared their support for the candidate endorsed by President Muhammadu Buhari, and that a process of consensus candidates is also in motion. However, there were speculations that the president may have backed out of his support for former governor of Nasarawa State, Senator Abdullahi Adamu, who missed the screening exercise of yesterday, March the 23rd. Among the national chairmanship aspirants to be screened by the committee are two former Nasarawa State governors and seven senators, Tanko Almakura and Abdullahi Adamu, also to be screened ahead of the convention are a former governor of Benue State and Minister of Special Duties, George Akume, Niger East Senator Mohamed Sani Musa, a former Deputy National Chairman of the Defunct Congress for Progressive Change, CPC, Salio Mustafa, and 37-year-old Mohamed Itsu. Worried by the cracks among governors and leaders due to the bickering over APC chairmanship and the refusal by aspirants to step down for each other, the president invited the aspirants to the presidential villa yesterday. The meeting at the villa is believed to be the binding factor that will likely address how to have a rank of free convention. Joining us now from Abuja to discuss the All Progressives Congress Convention, which hosts this Saturday, the 26th of March in Abuja, is Abuba Kassani Bello, Governor of Niger State. Good morning, Governor Bello, and thank you very much for joining us on The Morning Show. Good morning. Yes, thank you very much indeed. Well, quickly, um, how did the meeting with the president yesterday go? What is the mood uh, among the governors? Because the president was very clear. He said the governors should try to unite. He was preaching uh, unity, and he recommended that uh, the governors should come together agree on uh, the consensus option for all the available uh, positions so as to prevent a situation uh, whereby uh, the opposition may be allowed to get their dirty hands on the presidency of, of Nigeria in the future. Now I'm joking, but I'm quoting uh, what the president was quoted as saying. But what is the mood among the governors? What is the state of play? How ready is the party, APC? Well, thank you very much. Like you said earlier on, uh, the governors were invited by Mr. President, and uh, we had a very good meeting. Uh, the, pres the president uh, uh, spoke very well to the governors, and uh, he, he offered his uh, suggestions or advice uh, that uh, we should uh, probably uh, go more for consensus, because... Um, you know, sometimes with elections, uh, we as Africans or Nigerians, we're bad losers. So it's always better when you have a consensus and uh, you amicably resolve on one candidate. So I think uh, that is the way forward. Uh, that is the position as at now. Uh, all governors are on board. Uh, we're looking at how we can have a heat free convention. So uh, most of the governors and the stakeholders in various zones are at the moment uh, interacting and consulting themselves so that uh, we have a consensus. Uh, with regards to the preparations for the convention, I think we've made uh, reasonable progress. Uh, all the subcommittees have started their assignments. Uh, the venue is being prepared. Uh, screening is ongoing, accreditation has held their meetings, and uh, what have you. So I think we're good to go. Right. Um, it's been reported that that time-honored APC tradition of going to the convention with a consensus candidate for national chairman, we're not going to witness that this time. It has also been reported that um, President Buhari's favored candidate, um, Senator Abdullahi Adamu, has been opposed by some of the governors. Can you give us, shed some light on that situation? Because it's always been the case from Chief Bissia Konde, um, Chief Odige Oyegun, Comrade Adams Oshomole, APC has always managed to achieve a consensus. If that is not the case this time, does that indicate that rancor remains amongst the ranks of the governors? 
Well, either way, as you look at it, first of all, um, like I said earlier on, uh, the preference is to have a consensus candidate. It makes it a lot easier for everyone. Uh, but in the event that doesn't happen, then uh, you go for elections. But uh, I think uh, the most preferred choice or mode of uh, uh, getting a chairman is through a consensus. Uh, but uh, if that doesn't work, I think we'll go for elections. Tomorrow, but there are still divisions in your party. Some people said there was a, uh, the, the, the unity list put forward doesn't unite the party. In fact, it divides the party. There are divisions as we speak two days to your uh, convention. How are you reacting to all of this? Every aspect of, yes, in every aspect of life, when you have uh, more than two, three, four, five, and you're talking 10, 15, 20 people or more, uh, it is difficult to have everyone on the same page. But what is important is how to uh, manage the situation. In the end, I, I believe we'll come out strong, and in the end, I believe we'll come to an agreement, some sort of agreement or a consensus. And the convention will go on peacefully, by God's grace. Nobelo, before you joined us, we were discussing the uh, debate in the National Assembly yesterday over the contentious section 84, subsection 12 of the Electoral Act, which says uh, political appointees uh, cannot be delegates in any primaries or convention. And there are some members of your party who have uh, called on the Kataka Committee uh, to the effect that uh, the APC needs to be careful not to allow uh, persons uh, who will run against the uh, Section 84 of the Act uh, to take part in the Saturday Convention. Otherwise, the outcome of that convention may be invalidated. Is the Kataka Committee considering that suggestion uh, in order to just be on the safe side? First of all, uh, chairing the convention committee has made me very busy in the last few days, so I haven't been paying attention much to most of these uh, activities going on. But um, yes, I agree, uh, it's a cause for major concerns. And at the caretaker committee level, I believe it will be looked at properly so that uh, we don't put anyone at risk. So I think, yes, you're right, it is something to carefully look at, which I think we'll do eventually within the next few hours. Right, you're definitely erring on the side of caution because it was reported that you've asked political appointees in Niger State to resign at the end of the month if they're aspiring to any kind of office in 2023. But I want to ask you about security in Niger State. It's also been reported that according to you, that bandits have taken over 12 local governments in Niger State. What are you doing to address this menace? You have sporadic activities of bandits around 12 local governments. Uh, it doesn't mean they've taken over the entire local government. But what it means is that um, they have access into those local governments. They come in and out. And uh, in the last couple of weeks, uh, the security agencies have uh, beefed up their acts and they've dealt decisively with most of these bandits. So as we speak right now, most of these local governments are, are free. And um, the number of uh, bandit activities has reduced drastically. So yes, um, they had presence in 12 local governments. Uh, we still have isolated cases, but not uh, frequent ones as we used to have. So yes, I think, I think we've made reasonable progress in that direction. There's still a lot of work to do, and we're engaging the security agencies, and hopefully uh, I hope that before the rains come fully, that uh, most of these uh, local governments will have um, uh, some peace that time so they can go to their farms. So a lot of people are looking at political landmines ahead of the APC. Number one will be the fact that some people in the party are complaining that the president is making all the directions and they're not happy about it. It's supposed to have a, be a party that has some level of internal democracy. Secondly, the fact that some governors are using some of these national officers to fight against their political opponents. A case in point is the case of Omishore. Some say Governor Oyetola is definitely putting Omishore in there to be able to fight against the adversary, Rauf Arebashola, still of the APC. I mean, what do you say about this landmines on ground? 
Well, I mean, uh, it depends on how you look at it. And um, uh, everyone is free to make his own assumptions. But what I believe is that um, there must be leadership in whatever situation we find ourselves. As it is right now, we have a president and uh, his leader of the party uh, in the country. It is expected that the leader, the president will provide leadership and will bring everyone on board and uh, mediate when there are issues among the party members. Uh, with regards to appointing national officials, uh, I haven't heard of any complaints from anyone being intimidated by any national officer. In any case, the convention has not taken place yet. Uh, what we're seeing now are mere proposals. Uh, no one knows what will happen at the convention square. So uh, there are lots of speculations. But for me right now, I think we should focus more on making sure the convention takes place. Well, Governor Bello, um, there is a group called, uh, um, is it Niger, North Central Democracy Group, led by one gentleman called uh, Tijani. And two days ago, he was saying that uh, you need to provide the leadership as the most prominent uh, political leader from the North Central region uh, to ensure that uh, the wrangling, the uh, contestation among five aspirants for the uh, chairmanship position of the APC from the North Central, you know, uh, do not uh, cause any problem. And that if the North Central should lose that position that has been zoned to that region, uh, that you, Governor Bello, uh, should be held res responsible. Are you aware of this, and uh, are you making any effort to forge consensus? I, I, have, I have never heard of that group or the names you mentioned, but uh, let me also respond to what you said. Uh, yes, it is true that uh, we have uh, five qualified aspirants for the chairmanship, uh, and I, I honestly believe each and every one of them is capable uh, of managing the office properly. But in the end, only one person will get it. I have no doubt in my mind that uh, definitely it will come from North Central. Uh, it's already been agreed uh, in a gentleman agreement that uh, the chairman should come from North Central. So there is really nothing to worry about. And uh, I think, like we said earlier on, uh, we're working on the consensus candidates based on our consultations with Mr. President. Right. Can you take us through the process through which you got to this point? Because really there has been progress made. Like you said, the national chairman, there's been an agreement it must come from the North Central. That wasn't the case before. You had aspirants from all over the North vying, but some of them have stepped down because of the fact that that agreement has been reached, that the national chairman must be from your zone. Now, what was that process like, and how will you bring some of that to bear with regards to the fact that you still have seven people vying for this, and really, you only need one? How are you going to go about whittling down this list of seven to just one? First of all, in this business, there is no must. Uh, I think I should make that clear. There is no must. It's, uh, this is a democratic system. Um, it's not a dictatorial system. Uh, secondly, even when uh, I, I said it to come from North Central, uh, is because there is a general agreement between not all, but most of the uh, stakeholders based on Mr. President's uh, uh, suggestions that we should look at North Central. For whatever it is, for what it's worth, uh, we in the North Central believe that yes, uh, we should have a national chairman for North Central. I don't think we've had uh, that opportunity in the past. Uh, considering the fact that we usually provide block votes when you come to elections. So I think we qualify to vie for the highest office as far as the party politics is concerned. So, uh, like I said, it is difficult to, when you have uh, seven, eight people that uh, feel they are qualified or entitled to become chairman of a party like APC, you have to be very patient and you have to deal with situation. You have to be very resilient with regards to how you bring everyone on board. I have no doubt in my mind we still have uh, 48 hours or more to convention. Uh, this is what I call the injury period and this is what I call the action time. Uh, I believe that uh, in the next couple of hours before the convention day, in fact, probably on the convention day, uh, I hope we will see more uh, of the aspirants withdraw from the race so that we limit the numbers. 
it is my hope, it is my sincere hope that uh, we, we get uh, one consensus candidate. But like I said earlier on, if that doesn't happen, it means we have to go for elections. It's good you talked about injury time, but also if you follow football premiership, there's something called Feggy time. It was reduced to Alex Ferguson in his heydays that Alex Ferguson will always score a goal when you least suspect when the game is about to come to an end. Do you think that those opposing to your unity structure, unity list and consensus might just score a late Feggy goal against you guys at the APC? The faction saying we want consensus. Well, eventually someone will come out victorious, but I hope, uh, I hope uh, in the end we all agree uh, at a consensus candidate that is good for the party, that will push the party forward, and that uh, can, can, can help build the party. So back to your question uh, with regards to injury time, yes, uh, I'm new in this business, but I know sometimes, or in most cases, the last hour is very, very key, and uh, a lot of changes can happen within those moments. Uh, Governor, you seem confident that uh, the chairman will come from uh, uh, the North Central, although about 24 hours ago. I the, hope so. The party said anybody that is interested from anywhere can show interest in order to avoid uh, litigation. But who is likely to be the consensus candidate, in your view, from uh, North Central? Would that possibly be uh, former Governor Adamu or Sani Musa or who? And then quickly, the president. Well, the president. I wanted to add a follow-up question. The president yesterday said, "Anybody that agrees to step down, who had already uh, paid uh, the for the nomination form, that the money, uh, you know, the deposit should be re refunded uh, to such persons." Did the governors agree on that score? Well, being the chairman of the North Central Governors Forum. Uh, it is my duty to ensure that uh, uh, someone from North Central uh, gets the chairmanship of the APC. Uh, on the other hand, uh, recognizing Mr. President as uh, our leader, our political leader and president of this country, it is also my duty uh, to see that uh, we align our position so that we all agree uh, on common grounds uh, on, uh, on a specific candidate. So at the moment, uh, yes, uh, uh, we're looking at uh, Senator Abla Adamu uh, based on the suggestions by Mr. President for whatever reasons. Um, but I believe that um, this is a democratic system. If the other contestants do not key in or buy into this idea, uh, it is their legitimate right to, to contest. So. Uh, but we hope that uh, this matter will be resolved within the next uh, uh, couple of hours or within the next few days. Right, we'll all be, you know, keeping informed on that score. But can you tell us what is the future of your party? Because it's been posited by several people, I'm sure you've read reports, that the APC is really standing on shaky ground at the moment. The president's intervention by way of his letter to the chairman of the Progressives um, Governors Forum seems to have calmed waters. But for now, beyond the convention, beyond this goalpost of the convention, since we're talking about football analogies, what is the future of your party? What are relationships like within the party? Will your party survive the rancor that we all witnessed that became extremely public in recent weeks? Every party has its own problems. Uh, I have no doubt in my mind that the future is bright for APC. Uh, of course, APC being a fairly new party uh, grew to what it is within a very short period. And when you have thousands of people with different ideologies in one room, uh, you're bound to have differences of opinion. So uh, the party is still growing. Uh, we're still getting to understand ourselves better. We're still getting to know ourselves better. Uh, we're receiving more people into the party. So all this will take time to, to, to address. But um, with regards to the future of the party, I can tell you that the future is bright. And uh, the next elections uh, will show, will determine uh, what the future of APC will be like. Right. Uh, still, in the football of foot, uh, still in the spirit of football analogies, uh, like Tunde stated, have you introspected to check properly 
if there are any litigations or any landmines here and there, so that it will not be a time where, when we use VAR to check your convention, it might be scuttled. Have you introspected? Yes, well, yes we, are, we, are, we, are, we are monitoring closely uh, what is going on with regards to what you mentioned earlier on. Um, we're doing our best. Uh, for some of us, to be honest, uh, it surprises us to think that someone uh, will not want a uh, convention to take place. And we all know having a convention is the right thing to do. It's better for everyone. It's safer for everyone in APC. Uh, I hope uh, our party members, even when you are aggrieved, uh, you go through the party machinery to resolve your issues uh, instead of going to courts and thereby uh, uh, jeopardizing all the efforts that has been put in place in the last uh, few weeks. Uh, we've made reasonable progress. It would be a shame to see all that sleepless nights, all those resources and the hard work by our party members uh, go in vain. So I hope, uh, I hope we don't uh, get to see any court orders or whatever in the next few days. Uh, we consultations are ongoing. Uh, we know arising from the previous congresses that are issues in some states, uh, it is difficult to address all those issues. But I think it is also important in the spirit of fairness to look at some of those uh, states uh, so that uh, we, we get a fair balance of uh, uh, what is happening in those states. Uh, especially those states where you have major critical stakeholders uh, at each other's throat. Uh, so we, we, we have to play the games by the book. But yes, we are concerned about uh, court litigations and I hope uh, party members would exhaust uh, the party machinery before they go to court. So we're looking forward to having a convention on Saturday and uh, we continue to appeal to party members rather than go to court, please use party machinery uh, to address your issues. And we're ready to listen at the caretaker committee. We have various committees uh, resolving different crises arising from different states. Okay, I asked earlier that um, President Buhari has said that the APC should refund monies to candidates who elect to step down and support the process of, uh, uh, you know, consensus uh, uh, candidates emerging. Um, and then secondly, this uh, national convention on Saturday. Uh, we know that, yes, uh, chairman will emerge, other national officers will emerge. But would, will it also include the process of uh, agreeing on consensus candidates for the election, for the general election itself, across levels? With regards to your first question, um, uh, when, when you want to reconcile uh, parties, uh, sometimes you have to put something on the table. I guess, uh, even though I haven't spoken to the president, I guess those were his thoughts. Uh, for him to get the cooperation and the buy-in of some of these aspirants, uh, it is only fair to refund them uh, their money because they, they bought forms uh, uh, looking at or hoping that they will go for election and each and every one of them you ask will tell you he's very confident that he will win. So, uh, putting something on the table, I think, is, is, a, is a good step forward. I, I have no problem with that. Um, with regards to your second question, uh, on what, what is your question? We also include uh, the uh, selection of consensus candidates for the general election across all levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I, 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 at the moment, we're just uh, we're focusing on the convention uh, on electing party officials um, we're not we're not we're not looking at uh, uh, the election proper or candidates that will run for various political offices it is safer to unite the party it is safer to put the party on solid grounds it is, it is safer to resolve the party is the platform um, even if you have aspirations for a political office once the platform is faulty then you have a big problem so I think at the moment uh, all of us should concentrate, concentrate more on uh, putting in place our national working committee so that uh, they run the affairs of the party properly, then uh, people that want to aspire for various political offices can go ahead and show their in intent. How many 
delegates are you expecting? Wow, we're, we're, we're expecting quite a number. Uh, not less than, not less than 5,000. Right, not less than 5,000 de uh, 5, delegates to ensure that the APC gets back on track. Real quickly, the president talks about restoring sanity to the APC. Do you think sanity has been restored? Well, following our meeting with Mr. President and uh, following our meetings uh, uh, with the Progressive Governors Forum, and at the same time, uh, having seen reports from the various uh, reconciliation committees, um, I, can, I can tell you that uh, uh, we're almost there. Of course, there are uh, some areas that need to be looked at again. Like I mentioned earlier on, uh, especially situations or issues arising from Congresses. Uh, we still have states that uh, haven't really uh, resolved their differences. Those we're looking at. But apart from that, I think um, uh, I think uh, we've made very good progress, uh, and most of you can't you, ha you can't have everyone on board 100 percent, but I'll give it 90 percent. So that means okay, 90 percent sanity restored to the APC, not 100 percent. Thank you so much for your time, yes. Governor.